Hello and good morning at our CMC office in Fellbach. My name is Markus Mohn and I have the pleasure and the honor together with you to have a look at our latest models above all the Ferrari 275. Today we will show you our latest novelty, the Ferrari 275 GTB C. The C stands for Competizione, which is a competition car and it has some uh, slight differences uh, between the street car and the competition version. The competition version, for example, has body panels made of thin aluminum, which are only half as thick as uh, the normal ones. They are not soldered, but uh, fixed by rivets. So in case of incident in a race, for example, they could have been uh, exchanged more easily. The car has uh, the same 12 cylinder engine as uh, its uh, predecessors, for example, the 250 GTO and uh, even the 330. And later in detail, we will tell you and show you all the differences from uh, the models. But how does a CMC model get developed? The first steps are, of course, uh, two dimensional. We uh, create some 3D uh, models, some wireframe models on the uh, CAD systems, and then at a very early step, we uh, do the first 3D printings uh, just for uh, seeing the general shape of the body. We can do uh, easily, very uh, easily amendments. Once the shape is uh, released, we go in the next step. Uh, some uh, openable uh, parts already are shown, some uh, accessories as uh, uh, bumpers or uh, uh, additional lamps are uh, made. And we also uh, try to develop uh, the decoration, the printings, and the adhesives. And now, uh, today, just a, a little bit before uh, the start of production, we are very proud to show you the, let's say, final model, which uh, only small changements are still needed. Rosso Ferrari. What could match better to a historic Ferrari than this color? But attention, in this case, maybe it's misleading. Even if the car was set up for racing at its time, it never participated in races. It was seen, however, in the last years at uh, historic motorsports events where it participated. And by the way, it was sold in an auction in 2014 for over 5 million euro. This is uh, the eighth of 12 uh, Ferrari GTBC that were built. And with this car, uh, Pedro Rodriguez in the year 1966 uh, participated at the tourist trophy Nassau Bahamas and he arrived seventh overall. We replicated this car exactly in the colors and specifications as it was at that time. In uh, 1967, the car had an accident and was uh, spray painted in the colors of the North American racing team for a, a short while but we liked that ruby red very much, above all in combination with that uh, clear interior. You see the seats combined uh, leather and textile and uh, the wooden steering wheel as well. 12 of the Ferrari GTBC were built and this one is the sixth one of that production series. The first owners, Sinibaldi and Federici, took part at the 500 kilometers of Mugello in the year 1966. You can see this car is equipped with the Borani uh, wire wheels. You can also see very well the Colombo 12 cylinder engine with that uh, three-way carburetor. And in the interior, you can see the black seats and uh, the black leather steering wheel as well. This car was first delivered in 1966 to the North American racing team, where it participated very successfully in lots of races in the United States. And then in 2010, the car came back to Europe, where the current owner, Monsieur Gay, a Belgian uh, race driver, bought it at the Retromobile Salon at Paris. And he participated uh, with that car very successfully at the uh, the 500 kilometers of Spa in 2012 and 2013 as well. And we could uh, follow uh, all the development together with him, with his support, and we are very proud and glad of this. This chassis shows very well uh, the Colombo 12-cylinder engine with that polished uh, air manifolds. You can see also the wheel suspension with those uh, double wishbones on each side. Uh, the suspension, of course, is uh, functionable uh, in the front and in the back as well. You can also see very good uh, the transaxle uh, principle. 
all the chassis is made of real metal as it was uh, in the original also. France, Le Mans, 24 hours. I think every motorsports fan gets bright eyes when hearing this. Also, we at CMC decided to replicate one of the most famous cars of that race. This one, uh, the Ferrari 275 GTBC, uh, participated in 1966. Uh, the team was at Jürgens and the drivers were uh, Biscaldi and uh, De Bourbon, Parme. Unfortunately, the car uh, retired in the 20th of 24 hours, but uh, nevertheless, it is one of the most famous cars and you see also a very nice details as the engine, the carbs and uh, the black leather interior as well. Hi, I'm Peter Diller. I'm the export manager of CMC Model Cars. And today I'm very happy to be able to represent you three all new colors of the upcoming Ferrari 275 GTB. Let me introduce you the CMC Ferrari 275 GTB with the item number M238. This model will be limited to only 1000 pieces worldwide and this is a prototype therefore the color is not quite right yet. Uh, the final product will have a British racing green like you can see it at this model here. Another color variant of the 275 GTB will be the item number M239. It will also be limited to 1000 pieces worldwide and it has the color California blue like it's well known from our 250 GT California. The final color version that I want to introduce you today is the item number M240. It will be also limited to only 1000 pieces worldwide. This is a prototype which is still under modification. The final color will be Modena yellow like you know it from the 250 GTO. And finally, uh, as uh, making a pleasure for lots of you, we decided to replicate once again uh, the Uhlenhaut Coupe which we uh, produced nearly 10 years ago. and. Uh, not only the version we did uh, already we will uh, reproduce again, we will also add some variants, for example, testing cars. You know, the car was uh, initially planned uh, for the 1956 racing season, but it never came uh, to the end because in 55 Daimler decided uh, to uh, stop racing activities and therefore Mr. Uhlenhaut, the genius who uh, invented and uh, designed the car, took one of those as his uh, personal company car. Honestly, even I would have done like this with that Gullwing doors, etc. It's a really outstanding car and a really outstanding model as well. And finally, we are happy to present you still two more prototypes. It's the Porsche 904 on the one hand, and on the other hand, it's the Alfa Romeo P3. We are talking already about since years. This is the Porsche 904, even known as Carrera GTS. This car was presented firstly in 1963 in Stuttgart and uh, production started later than in 64. Around 120 units of that car were built. Uh, it was the first Porsche with a fiberglass body, so uh, very outstanding also for Porsche. And uh, we decided to replicate some of those 120 models. You will hear more from us soon in the next weeks and months. This is our Alfa Romeo P3. Also in this case, we left uh, the two-dimensional uh, CAD construction. We went the for the first time in the third dimension. This is a, a plastic prototype printed uh, by a 3D printer. Uh, one of the main characteristics of that car is uh, that uh, the gear shaft and the differential is close to the engine and therefore the drive shaft could be split it off and uh, the driver's seat could be mounted in a very low position, which is a very sporty one. And this is one of the reasons uh, why that car in the 1930s had a lot of success all over the world. And we will keep you informed within the next weeks and months about the variants we decided to replicate. Thank you for having assisted our presentation of our 2022 novelties. 
as you can see, we have a very huge uh, range of uh, products that we will offer this year. Some of them we explained a little bit more in detail because they uh, will be produced very soon. Others, uh, however, will arrive later this year. And please stay tuned uh, from time to time. Have a look at our homepage and uh, on our sites on Instagram and Facebook as well. There will be always some interesting news. Thank you.